Hi guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to talk about class references and the use of the template class T subclass of. With this, we are able to access class references to specific Blueprint classes in C++ that can be defined and edited in Blueprints and spawned or instantiated in C++. Sometimes we need to create a variable in C++ that stores a reference to a class and not an instance of the class. This is necessary, for example, when we need to spawn a specific Blueprint class actor without hard coding the specific Blueprint asset in code. Assets in Blueprint classes need to be specified in Blueprints and not in code, so that you or designers of your team can edit them in the editor and don't need to go into code to change values. And that is where the template class T subclass of comes into play. It allows just all of that. A U property of type T subclass of needs to be created in C++ with a specific base class type defined as edit anywhere so that we can then edit its value in the blueprint derived class. You might be thinking now, when do we need all this and how this actually works? So I think it's time to show you all this in practice. So let's head into the editor and start by talking about class references in Blueprints. So inside the editor, let's have a look at class references. When we created this project, it automatically created like a game mode based class. So we're going to use this to showcase class references and the T subclass of and all that stuff. So let's first create a Blueprint from that game mode. So create blueprint, put it into, let's say, our blueprint folder, call it bp underscore game mode. Just something that we can play with. So inside here, let's go to our event graph and then let's talk about class references. So for that purpose, let's create a variable, call it class ref. And usually when you're declaring variables and blueprints, you can select your variable here and what we want to do is, let's say, because we are using user widgets, let's select user widget. And what you can see on the side, you can see you get their object reference or class reference. Object reference is an instance of that class and class reference to class itself. And if we are compiling, saving, then you can see all the available classes that are in our project that are based on user widget. So like the text widget, the C++ class that we created in the last episode, or the blueprint text widget, which is based on text widget, which is in fact a user widget. If we would change this to, let's say, a simple base class, which almost all or all classes uh, inherit from is the object, the U object class. If we select class reference here, compile, save, and you can see now you can add all these classes that are inheriting from your object. So why do I tell you this? Let's say we want to create a widget or spawn an actor. Let's select create widget. What you can see here is we have that purplish dot which refers to a class reference. So we need to select the class. You can either Select it from here. You can see it's already of type user widget. So you only see the widgets like, like we've seen before that are available. Or let's say you can put in, let's say get class ref. And if it's from type user widget, so let's say user widget class reference and we select text widget. So this class variable automatically now refers to text widget and we can hook it up. And if we would create this user widget, then it would create a version of this one. But we don't want to look at blueprints. We want to see how it's done in C++. And this was just a example to see, okay, why do we need classes? So things like create user widgets or let's say spawn actor from class, you can see you also get like a class. In Blueprints, you can select all your stuff and edit it visually. In C++, you don't have access directly to Blueprint classes. You would either need to hard code them in code. And like I mentioned in the introduction, we don't want to do this. So what we need to do, and this is where T subclass comes 
in, we need to specify a variable that we can then set like we would here and select our widget in our editor. So let's do this. Let's delete. Let's get rid of this. Let's delete this. Delete the class ref. And let's go to our code. And in here, let's have protected create a new property, make it edit anywhere, and maybe give it a category of, let's call call it class types in case we have more. And now we can use the T subclass of and make it a U user widget. And then what we call it, let's say, we say it's the widget class. That maybe in the game mode base, we want to create an instance of and add it to the viewport, which we will do in a future video. That's by the way, why I'm introducing you to this first so that now we get an understanding of how we get classes, can edit them in the blueprints and then instantiate them inside of C++. And this is the way to go. And in the beginning, I mentioned something about type safety so that we, when we create, for example, a user widget, we want to make sure that it is of type user widget. If we are, we would use a different class type and try to initialize it, then it would, wouldn't work. It would crash. And usually what you could do, and let me just for highlighting purposes, let's do the same thing, but take a U class, which is kind of like, like the base class for classes, no pun intended, but so the widget class itself here would be a U class, or this is kind of a wrapper around the U class type, but the T subclass of makes sure that it's really all the classes that are set that they are of type user widget. If we would use the basic U class and let's call it widget U class and now compile this. What we can do now in our blueprint, edit these values, but with U class, there is no type safety. So we could assign any value, even if we would mean, okay, only we want that user widget, but we could add an actor or a different kind of class there. But here, what you can see is when we get into the blueprint, we only see the classes that are available to set. So. Let's go over to our blueprint. Let's select our game mode and we can see under class types, we have widget class and we have widget U class. If we select the widget class, you can see I can select the BP text widget or the text widget class and so on or other user widgets that are available in the project right now. So we would say, let's say BP text widget, then it would be type safe. But if we want to set our widget here, you can see class, there are so many classes available in the framework. And if I would say sound note random basically and have no type safety, then this would crash once I create, let's say that user widget. So I hope this makes a little bit sense. So as you can see here, T subclass of, this is your way of specifying a base class in C++ and assigning a specific class inside of Blueprints. And this makes sense if you're, let's say, creating classes based on actor, let's say a player class or pawn or whatever, and you want have a specific Blueprint version and don't want to hard code it, and you shouldn't hard code it in C++, but rather assign it in the editor and using T subclass of in C++ so that you can assign it. And then, when we create user widgets or actors, spawn actors and all that good stuff, then we can use the widget class that is set or can use the class that it's set and instantiate that specific instance. This will all make sense in the next episodes when we create the user widget and, uh, and uh, add it to the viewport. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't, or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.